Welcome to the kitchen in our small house. Today I'm making tangy cherry tomato sauce with angel hair pasta. We have an overabundance of cherry tomatoes from our one plant in our garden, so I've been making lots of cherry tomato recipes. This one has a tangy twist. First, I chopped the basil and the oregano, which is also from our garden. Oregano is easy to just rip from the stems. The recipe I'm making today is just for the two of us, but you can double it or even triple it for your family. Next, I peeled a shallot and I chopped up about half of it to make one tablespoon. I like the taste of a shallot as opposed to an onion sometimes. To me, it's just a little bit milder and I like it that way. I'm cutting it really thin so it just kind of melts into the sauce once you start cooking it. Then I measured out the red wine vinegar, which is the tangy in this recipe. I used two teaspoons full. And finally, I measured out the dried spices. I used my herb salt that I made with kosher salt and herbs from my garden, but you can just use regular salt for the recipe. I totally forgot to add garlic to the recipe and just FYI, it was still amazing. So if you aren't a garlic fan, you can eliminate it and you will still have a really tasty dish. In the skillet, I added the olive oil over medium-high heat. Then I added the shallots. I sauteed them until they were translucent. Then if you're using garlic, this is when you would add it and saute it for one minute more.
Then you add the tomatoes. You'll want to saute these until the tomatoes burst. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Then I added the herbs. the spices. Mix them all together really well so that the tomatoes were really well coated with the spices and the fresh herbs. And finally, I added the vinegar and let it cook for about a minute more. While the tomatoes were cooking, I boiled water with salt and added the angel hair pasta, which only takes four minutes to cook. I added the drained pasta to a pasta bowl and topped it with the tangy cherry tomato sauce. You can add a little bit more olive oil at this point if you like it a little bit more saucy or even some of the pasta water if you hold a little bit of that back before you drain it. Then I toss it gently until the pasta is well coated. And I garnished mine with two mozzarella balls, one for me and one for Handy. some Parmesan cheese, and finally, some more fresh basil. Now it's time to taste it. I cut a slice of the mozzarella and grab some tomatoes and some of the pasta. Yum! The vinegar adds such a great tangy flavor to the dish. It's absolutely perfect. Thank you for visiting my kitchen in this small house.